viewers today we will discuss a new chapter and we can say the last chapter of your history book and that is chapter 10 18th century political formation basically this chapter tell us about the last phase of medieval history already we discuss about the moguls so tell me why were the great moguls called so who was the last of them and when did his era end so all this question should be solved in this chapter so let's start with the contents this chapter contains some very interesting concept like reshaping of mughal territories fall of mughal empire means the crisis of empire and the later mughals emergence of new states old mughal provinces the watan jagirs and the seizing independence so let's start with the first topic for today's class and that is the introduction or we can say the reshaping of mughal dynasty means territories during the last phase of aurangzeb era the grand structure of mughal empire begin to collapse matlab aurangzeb ke baad jo bahut gorgeous sab bol sakte hai jo bahut grand jo bahut hi huge structure tha mughal empire ka wo dheere dheere collapse means ginna shuru start ho gaya tha okay so many autonomous independent states begin to emerge in 18th century bahut chote chote independent बहुत सारे छोटे छोटे स्टेट्स मीन द किंगडम ग्रो करना शुरू कर दिए थे एटीन सेंचुरी पे द मुगल रूलर्स हु ऑक्यूपाइड द थ्रोन आफ्टर औरंगजेब आर कॉल्ड द लेटर मुगल्स तो औरंगजेब के बाद डेथ के बाद जो जो किंग्स और वी कैन से द एम्पर जो आए थे मुगल डायनेस्टी पे उसको बोल सकते हैं लेटर मुगल्स बट द प्रॉब्लम वॉज दैट दे वर वीक रूलर्स अंडर हुम द नोबल्स एक्सरसाइज रियल पावर मीन्स जो किंग थे वो इतना स्ट्रॉन्ग नहीं थे ओके okay? इतना पावरफुल नहीं थे तो उनके अंडर जो नोबल्स और जमींदार थे वो उनसे ज़्यादा पावरफुल थे ओके okay? औरंगजेब डेथ रिजल्टेड इन ए वर ऑफ सक्सेशन अमांग हिज सन तो उनके औरंगजेब के डेथ के बाद उनके जो बेटे थे उनमें थ्रोन के लिए सिंहासन के लिए एक वर चेर गया था फाइनली बहादुर शाह फर्स्ट केम टू द थ्रोन इन सेवनटीन The power of Mughal Empire had declined by the start of 18th century and by 1765 the British started controlling many parts of eastern India. New kingdoms emerged in the years between the death of Aurangzeb in 1707 and the battle of Panipat in 1761. Our next topic is the crisis of the empire and later Mughals. The long war in the Deccan reduced Aurangzeb's military and financial resources. तो आप सोच लो कोई अगर बहुत दिन तक कोई वर चलता रहे तो obviously कोई kingdom और empire का military और financial resource तो खत्म ही हो जाएगा And after Aurangzeb's death, under his successor, the imperial Mughal administration broke down completely. Okay? Under the Mughal kings, after Aurangzeb, the Mansabdas grew very powerful. and appointed subedars to control military revenue and administrative function in the areas they controlled as governors of provinces provinces means the small area became very powerful the income of mughal kings decreased adding the problems were the rebellions by peasant and zamindar and all this factor together contributed to the decline of the mughals rebellions means jo protest karte hai इसको रिविलियन बोलते हैं ओके द मुगल्स हैड फेस्ड रिविलियन आलियर टू तो ये नया तो बात नहीं था मुगल्स के लिए बट द न्यू रिविलियंस वर एबल टू सीज द मुगल गवर्नमेंट सोर्सेस ऑफ इनकम एंड दिस मेड इट डिफिकल्ट फॉर द मुगल्स टू सप्रेस दैम तो पहले भी रिविलियन थे तो उनको सप्रेस करना बहुत ईजी था बट ये जो नए रिविलियन है ये गवर्नमेंट का जो सोर्सेस ऑफ इनकम है उसको भी सीज कर लिया था बंद कर लिया था In the middle of all this chaos, the Iranian king Nadir Shah invaded and looted Delhi in 1739, which was followed by raids by Afghan ruler Ahmad Shah Abdali. Disagreements kept growing between two major administrative groups, the Iranis and the Turanis, and for a long time the latter Mughal kings were puppet in their hands only. The final nail in the coffin of Mughal power was when 
two Mughal emperors Farukh Shir and Alamgir II were assassinated and two other emperors Ahmad Shah and Shah Alam II were blinded by their nobles. And the fact is that the later Mughals could not control the prosperous Mughal empire. So my dear students, that's end of this session. We will meet in our next class with new topics. Till now, bye, take care and happy learning.